welcome back to the channel so on today guys i will be talking about how to select the right shade for your shiny smile veneer if you see me looking off to maybe your left or right that's because i'm looking at my notes i really don't for want to forget anything because uh selecting a shiny smile is a big investment okay i know we all got our stimmy checks and we got our income tax uh oh <laughs> and we got you know um our paychecks and stuff like that so i i know we're thousandaires and stuff like that right now but we still have to be very mindful of these coins okay so i got 10 um reasons you know to help you select the um right shiny smile for you make sure you stay to number 10 because that one is fire okay y'all ready i know you ready let's go all right so number one begin with the shades and so let's just go over the shades because if you're ordering a shiny smile nine times out of ten you didn't get to go into the office have a consultation and um they pull out that little chart that tells you you know all the shades and you put it up to your teeth and they kind of go over it with you so we didn't get any of that so that's what i'm here for okay your shiny smile youtube expert okay um, I feel like I don't have mine the longest <laughs> because if you look at my original video back in 2011, 2009, I was one of the first ones. Anyway, so back to the shades. All right, so then there's A1 through A4, okay? Then there's B1, B2, B3, B4. So A1, let's go over that, is the absolute. That's that Hollywood that you see on the red carpet. That's the one you see all the celebrities have. Then B1 through B2, B3, and B4 um, is a little bit, just a little bit darker than that. C1, C2, C3, C4 are the ones that um, that's a little bit darker. Well, I should say dull. It's nowhere near as bright as A1 and B1. And D2, D3, and D4 is dark. That's why I started with a D. So you really want to think about what shades you want to get. That's the main thing, okay? Then number two, hmm, how dramatic do you want to go? Like, um, if you don't go light enough, it's really not going to be noticeable. And you just spent thousands of dollars on a shiny smile, and nobody notices it, you know? So really, <clears throat> the rule of thumb is always go two to three shades lighter than what you have. Unless you're bold and dramatic like me, you want that A1 white, okay? But really two to three shades whiter. All right, and then four. This one is very pivotal. Um, Select your reasoning for why you want veneers. Is it for your self-confidence? Is it for you to be more confident in job interviews? Or is it for you, you know, to get a spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, something like that. Think about that reason because that's going to be very, very important, okay? And has your teeth or your smile held you back from jobs or relationships? I know if you're on this video, unlike myself, it has caused you, you know, a little insecure in your relationships and you might not be your best in your relationship, okay? Um, has your teeth affected you, you know, from where you want to be isolated and not really just go out in public? I know not, you know, maybe not now because of the corona and stuff like that, but in the past, before the corona, has it helped, you know, held you back from going out, from being in big crowds, from being, you know, bubbly, talkative, smiling, you know, has it just, you know, kept you back from all of that? Um, is your teeth something that you're always thinking about? I know I was, and sometimes I still do. I know once um, my YouTube channel takes off and gets monetized, um, I plan to, you know, get some permanent veneers. So guys, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and comment and watch the entire video so we can get some permanent veneers and i'll take y'all on that journey too okay all right um number eight has this caused you to become shy and insecure 
I know for me, it has caused me to be a little insecure, you know, when I don't have my shiny smiles in. It's, I don't smile as big as I do now. I don't talk as much as I do. So it definitely does cause me to be a little insecure, okay? This one is sensitive. Were you teased as a kid? I know for me, when I was in elementary school, I was called Bucktooth. Um, I was called Chipmunk. <laughs> So I definitely, you know, know all about that. And then now with my shiny smile, you know, some people say that, um, I don't know why stuff starts to itch. Um, some people have said, you know, uh, what have they said? Um, doggy dentures, um, horse teeth. Those are the two ones that I got, but Hey, I have gotten jobs and more positive things than this right here so i'm definitely not gonna let those two comments from somebody that probably don't have any teeth you know affect me all right thank you so much if you have stayed this far because i know you're still watching we are almost done okay sis and bros um and how to select you know the right shape for you the rule of thumb really and this is what a dentist will tell you is it's based on the shades of your eyes so if your eyes are really white then you want to go for a1 because your teeth and your eyes not your teeth but your teeth and your eyes go together so that's really pivotal you know in picking those i wish one of these videos would have been around when i was getting ready to get my smile um a long time ago i made this video to help you make you know an informed decision for your sh shiny smile. I hope that I've helped you in some way. Leave me some comments down below. Subscribe. I make videos every day, Monday through Saturday. Make sure you come back and tune in. Bye.